Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to solve a tricky square root problem. Okay, so the given problem is under root 42 plus, under root 42 plus, under root 42 plus, 42 and infinite time. And we have to find the value of this infinite square root. Okay, so the answer for this infinite square root problem is simple. So the 42 can be written as 6 into 7. So first we have to see if the given number can be written as a multiple of two consecutive numbers. If you can write as a multiple of two consecutive numbers, then the bigger number in the consecutive number will become the answer to the square. So we will get here answer is equal to 7. So in the same manner, and the root 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. So what is the answer for this one? The 12 can be written as 3 into 4. So the answer for this one is 4. Okay. The answer for this square root problem is 4. Going to be 4. For example, we have another question like 56 plus under root 56 plus under root 56 plus under root 56. So the 56 can be written as 7 into 8. So answer for this square root problem is 8. Going to be 8. The value we get by solving this one we get 8. So if a number cannot be written in the multiple of two consecutive numbers then how we can solve this one. So to solve that one let's take this problem. So let us assume this square under root 42 plus 42 plus under root 42 is equal to x. So the same equation can be written as x is equal to under root 42 plus x. Obviously if this whole equation is going to be x and then the remaining this one is also infinite time. So we can replace this particular part with x. So that's why I replace that one with 42 plus x. So x square is equal to 42 plus x. Okay. So then x square minus x minus 42 is equal to 0. Right. So x square minus 7x plus 6x minus 42 is equal to 0. The same equation I have written like this. And then x, x minus 7 plus 6, x minus 7 equal to 0. So x plus 6 into x minus 7 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 6 or 7. Minus 6 or 7. So the value of under root 42 plus 42 plus under root 42 plus 42 is going to be a positive value. That's why we ignore this minus 6 and we take x is equal to 7. Okay. So whenever you have seen this kind of problem, first you check that this number can be written as a multiple of two consecutive numbers. If you can write like that, you take the maximum of those two consecutive numbers as the result. Otherwise, use a convention method like this and solve the given problem. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel.